it's uh, Roman from Use Painting and today I'm going to show you how we tape off trim and doors. So uh, here we're working on a, a bit of a I guess, complicated area. Uh, the door jam and the uh, window frame are very close to one another so we have a you know tight space here. So we're going to use a slightly different technique that we would use otherwise. Um, basically this is how it looks. Um, just tape the top on the tape, secure it, make sure that uh, it meets that this tape meets the wall in the right spot and there isn't a gap between the door jam and the wall. And so then um, what I did here is I basically unroll the piece of tape so that I can you know have enough sort of loose tape to, to work with so it's easy for me to direct it where I want it, want it where I want it to go. So now I'm going to roughly work with about uh, I'm gonna work with roughly a two inch uh, or three inch kind of distance um, intervals rather uh, and um, Put the tape straight in the corner and then I'm going to press it down like this. Alright, so that side. Basically again, as I'm working down, I need to get myself make sure that I have some you know loose tape that I can work with. Uh, I'm not you know keeping it, I'm not um, putting any pressure on the tape, just just you know have it kind of like nice and loose. And uh, the key is to position yourself well so you can see where the tape is going. All right, just like so. You can see pretty well that the tape is going straight in the corner. Again, I'm working with about a two, like let's say two to four inch intervals of tape. This allows me to maintain uh, fairly easily a nice and straight line while using my eye, right? I'm sort of connecting the dots, so, you know, point here, point here, point here. And I'm making sure that they're straight to my eye. Here at the bottom, um, it's a little bit easier to to work with to to, to work um, slightly differently. Uh, where I'm uh, working with a longer piece of tape, I'm applying more pressure on it, downward pressure on it, to straighten it out, and I'm using my finger to direct the tape uh, and place it, you know, exactly where I want it to be. Now that I've done that, I check the uh, previous point of contact and the new one. Uh, look at the line, is it straight? Is there a curve? No, there isn't any curve. It's nice and straight. So now I can press it down and with my finger or you know, I can use a, a stocking knife. Okay, so for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to terminate it, terminate the tape here, but I could have continued on on the baseboard. So to, to get a nice and clean edge, I wouldn't exactly super clean, but uh, you know, we use a, a sparkling knife. Well, another little trick for you guys. So it's always good to start uh, taping with a nice and clean so how do we get that? Well, this is this is how. So now the edge is nice, nice and clean, and we can work with it quite easily. But uh, the final step in this process, in the taping process, is to burnish our you know our our, our taped uh, line. So what I usually use a spatula knife. So I'll put it. Put this end here and uh, just run it down. Well, 
like so. And maybe one more time, I'm gonna use my fingers. And uh, if you want to, to do a check, to check if how straight your line is, one way to do it is to use a spark knife. Well, that's what I do. I just put it right in the corner, you know, and see how it looks. You know, it looks pretty good. And you know, you can check it, check the line from both angles. I mean, it's not ideal because the walls are not perfect, but you know, it's as good uh, as close to, uh, I guess, a straight line as possible. Uh, now we are using here frog tape, uh, it's blue, new blue contractor frog tape. Um, it's great tape. Uh, yeah, works works perfectly. It gives us nice. Uh, clean lines and uh, yeah we like it so anyways i hope you learned something and um and uh, thank you for watching